Maxi, a digital personal amplifier from Bellman and Symphon. Getting started. The first thing you need to do is to insert batteries. You will find the battery lid here. Now, press the button forward to unlock and open it. Maxi uses two regular AA or LRO3 batteries. Look at the markings in the compartment if you are unsure about the orientation. Now, just click them in and close the lid like this. Now it's time to connect the listening accessory. In this case, I'm using a pair of headphones. Just insert the telejack plug into the socket here and put on the headphones. That's all you need to do to enjoy better hearing with Maxi. If you want to learn more about how to get the most out of your Maxi, please continue watching and I will guide you step by step. Adjust volume and tone. Press the on-off button to start up the device. Increase the volume by pressing the volume up button and decrease it by pressing the volume down button. Maxi is equipped with a tone control where you can adjust the amount of treble. Press the tone up button to increase the treble and decrease it by pressing the tone down button here. Other features Maxi also features a built-in telecoil so you can hear in venues that are equipped with a loop system. Simply press the T button to activate the telecoil. To switch back to the internal microphone, just press the M button here. Here is where you plug in your listening accessory. If you want Maxi to enhance the sound of your TV, radio or stereo system, you can connect it with a cord here. Using the built-in microphone. Maxi features a so-called omnidirectional microphone. This means that the sound is picked up from all directions around the device. The advanced digital algorithm will automatically recognize and amplify speech and at the same time, filter out any unwanted background noise. This to create the best possible speech recognition at all times. Listening to loop systems. Many public venues, such as theatres, concert halls and churches, are fitted with loop systems. In these venues, Maxi captures the sound from the orchestra, movie or speaker with the built-in telecoil. Just press the T button here to activate the telecoil. These venues are marked with a T symbol. Look for a sign with a T symbol next time you visit your favorite movie theater or concert hall. Listening to the TV or radio. Now I will show how to connect Maxi to the TV. For this, you will need a regular audio cable, which can be purchased separately. Just connect the 2.5mm stereo jack plug into the line in jack here. The red and white phono contacts are connected to the audio out on your TV. These are normally found on the back of your TV. Using Maxi with hearing aids. Maxi is a perfect complement to hearing aids and cochlear implants in situations with a lot of background noise, where it can be hard to otherwise distinguish speech. Maxi will clarify speech further and filter out disturbing background noise before it reaches the hearing aid or cochlear implant. This means you don't have to make so much of an effort to hear. To use Maxi with hearing aids or cochlear implants, you will need a neck loop. Just connect the 3.5mm telejack plug into the output socket here. 
Then place the neck loop around your neck and clip it to your clothes like this. Now, switch your hearing aid to T mode and the sound will be transmitted wirelessly to your hearing aids. Attach the clip. Maxi comes with a clip that you can use to attach it to the belt or a sleeve. To mount the clip, turn Maxi on its side. Here, you will find a small cutout. There is another one like this on the other side. Now, position the clip so that the small extensions, here, fit in the cutouts. Then, press until it clicks into place. Attach the neck strap. There is also a neck strap included in the package if you prefer to wear maxi around your neck. Here is how you attach it. First, remove the end part of the neck strap. Then, make a small loop between your fingers, like this. Now, thread the wire through the hole here and the plastic part through the loop to attach it. Then, reconnect the neck strap and you're all done. Customizing Maxi Introduction There are many opportunities to customize your Maxi. Now, I will show how to access the settings menu where the customization is done. Accessing the settings menu To access the settings menu, first make sure the device is on. Now, Open the battery lid. Between the batteries, you will find a grey button. Use a regular pencil or other blunt object to press and hold it for 5 seconds. Balance control The first setting is the balance control that sets the balance between the right and left ear. Use the volume up button to gradually move the focus of the sound to the right ear and the volume down button to move the focus of the sound to the left ear. The default setting is center. You can see the current setting here. To move to the next setting, press the gray button again. Basic attenuation. This setting, called basic attenuation, is used to limit the maximum output level for a client with a mild hearing loss. But you can also use it to trim the output level to a specific hearing accessory. Use the volume down button to decrease the maximum output level and the volume up button to increase it. To move to the next setting, press the grey button again. Disable Telecoil Here, you can disable the telecoil. Perhaps you rarely visit venues with loop systems or just want to have less buttons to worry about. The light is now flashing, which indicates that the telecoil is enabled. Press the volume down button to disable the telecoil. Now, the light goes off. Press the volume up button to reactivate the telecoil. Store the settings. To store the settings, press and hold the grey button for 5 seconds. The device will show that the settings have been saved by lighting up all the lights here. Tone control blocking. The tone control can be disabled and locked in a preferred setting. This is to simplify handling for the client. Here is how you do it. Make sure your maxi is off. Now, press and hold the right tone control button. While holding it down, turn on the device with the on-off button. Now, you